The ship type converter is a powerful feature in Ready Shipper that allows you to easily set your default ship via, ship type, and package type. It will allow you to have all your imported orders automatically assign the ship via, ship type, and package type you want depending on the rules that you've set up. We're going to explore a couple ways to use this feature in Ready Shipper. The first is through a CSV file import. So I'll go up and import a test CSV file here. And we'll see that when it imports in, it has no assigned ship via and it has a ship type of ground. Now right now this doesn't mean anything to Ready Shipper, but it's easy to use this ship type of ground to now set up some defaults. The first step is copy what you have imported into the ship type column. As you can see there I copied ground. Then go over and locate the ship type converter under the automators. Copy in ground into the far left column and then you can tell it what ground is supposed to mean. Let's say in this case that I want it to mean stamps.com first class mail with regular package package type. I can even say that if I want it to be 13 ounces and under, 0.8125, and above that, let's say I paste in ground again, 0.8125, I want it to equal Express One discount priority mail. And I want it to use the medium flat rate box. I've now set up a basic rule so that when Ready Shipper sees the ship type ground, it knows exactly what to do with that. I'm going to go back, I'm going to delete these orders, and I'm going to re-import them so that you can see how the ship type converter works in real time. Now with the same process of importing that CSV file, we can see that the orders are automatically assigned the ship via, ship type, and package type that I've set up with the ship type converter. So with that little change, I've saved myself untold minutes of actually selecting these one by one. So very easy to uh, set up the ship type converter so that you have all your imported orders with the correct ship via and ship type. Now this works the same when you're importing in from one of our direct integrations. In this case, let's go up to stores, Volusion, and let's import orders from our test Volusion site. I click view orders to find today's orders and then I select the two shipments I have and import them in. Again we can see here these are now assigned to ship type of 810 and 811. Again that doesn't mean anything to Ready Shipper at this point but all I have to do is copy the number 810 go over to the ship type converter and paste in 810. Now if I don't want to set up a weight base rule I just want 810 to always equal UPS ground I can go ahead and I can select UPS online, UPS ground. And if I leave this zero to blank, it will apply to all orders that have the ship type 810 on future imports. And I go back here and I see that the other one was 811. So again, I just copy 811, go back to the ship type converter and in the next open line, I paste in 810. And let's say that I want this to mean FedEx second day. I've now set it up so that that will convert 811 over to UPS or to FedEx second day. Now when I delete these two orders, I can re-import it to again show how the ship type converter converts it automatically on import. So I go back into Volusion, go to import orders, view today's orders once again, and then I re-import these same two orders and now you'll see that it automatically assigns it to UPS ground and FedEx two-day air. So just like that, I've set up rules so that all my imported orders, whether it was from a CSV file or one of our direct integrations, are automatically imported in and assigned the correct ship via ship type and package type every time. This is just one of the many powerful features that Ready Shipper offers you to save you time and money every day on your shipping process. Get started with your own free trial today at trueship.com.